join kids hat family Wasn't last night's slumber party fun, Tofu? Oh, I had a blast. Let's do it again. I agree, but I noticed that you weren't being very nice to cousin Rob. You were always with your friend Josh. Cousin Rob started it. Started what? Josh is one of my best friends. and cousin rob told me that he didn't like josh as much as i did there's nothing wrong in that tofu i don't understand why not shall i explain it to you with a story yes i want to hear the story A very long time ago there lived a mighty lion in a jungle. One day he went to the river to drink water. But his leg got stuck in the thick slushy mud of the river bank. No matter how much he tried his leg wouldn't come out. He called out for help. But alas, there was none. And so he remained stuck in the mud. After a few days, a kind jackal came to the same spot of the river to drink water. He saw the lion stuck in the mud. Your Majesty, are you all right? No, Jackal. I am stuck in the mud. I cannot move. I have been here for days now. Give me a moment, Your Majesty. Let me see what I can do. The jackal quickly crossed over to the riverside. Where the lion was stuck with his paws he dug out the mud where the lion's leg was caught I think your leg should be free now please try and come out the lion tried to move but he couldn't his leg had become stiff after being in the same position for so many days seeing this the jackal made more efforts to free the lion he pushed him and pulled him till he finally came out of the mud the lion was very happy to be able to move freely after so many days thank you kind jackal you have saved me you are welcome your majesty Now I must get back home. Where will you go? Why don't you come and stay with me? You've saved me and now you are my friend for life. The jackal accepted the lion's offer and both grew their own families. But they continued to live together and hunt together. The children would have been play together. But the lioness did not like the friendship between the jackal and the lion. And she conveyed the same to the lady jackal. The lioness told me 
that the lion does not want us to live here with him and his family. Hearing this, the jackal was very upset and went to see the lion. I thought we were friends. But if you did not want my family and me to live here with you, you should have told me so. Instead, you conveyed your message to me through the lioness and the lady jackal? My friend, I don't know what you are talking about. We are leaving. No, my friend, don't leave me and go. I have not done anything of that sort. I want you to stay with me. The jackal understood what had happened. I am sorry, friend. I understand your sincerity and love towards me. I think I judged you too quickly. It is not you who wants me gone. But the lioness, I shouldn't live here any longer. No, you don't have to go. I will speak to the lioness. No, don't worry about it. My family and I will live in another home. But you and I will still remain friends. It is best for both families. Though the lion was very sad, he agreed. And so, the jackal made another home for himself and his family. But his friendship with the lion remained. They met every day, went on hunts together and shared lives good and bad till the end of their lives. The lioness didn't like the jackal even though the lion and he were best friends. And she knew that the jackal had saved the lion once upon a time. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you Tofu. Sometimes you may like someone very much but your family may not feel the same way about them. Oh, I get it now. Let's call cousin Rob and others for one more slumber party. I promise I will behave better this time. Tia, where are you? I am here Tofu. What happened? Tia, you keep on teaching me new morals through different stories. Today I'll tell you a story that our teacher taught us in class. Oh really? I am so eager to listen to it. The Dog and the Bone Once upon a time, in the dark alleys of a small village, there lived a dog. He was a stray dog who had to live on anything that he found on the streets in the bins or at the mercy of the people who would feed him every now and then. One day, while passing by a butcher's shop, he saw that there was no one to attend the shop. He entered the shop and his eyes popped out when he saw juicy chicken, lamb, pork and turkey hanging. It was far from his reach so he went around the cabinets to look for something. I hope I could find something to eat here. He went around sniffing and looking for it and suddenly he saw a juicy big bone. He started drooling and said, My day is made. This would surely fill up my tummy. He bounced at it and grabbed it in his mouth. I'll leave this juicy bone in a quiet place where no one else would be able to take it away from me. 
So the lean dog very happily took the bone and looked for a secluded place. He crossed the village and entered the woods. While he was trying to cross a river, he stopped and looked at his reflection in the river. He was quite surprised at what he saw. He saw his own reflection and thought, Oh my God, there is another dog with an equally juicy bone. It looks young too. I got to have that bone as well. And the moment the greedy dog decided to bark at the other dog, the bone fell in the river. Oh, what have I done? It was my reflection in the water and the greed made me lose my bone too. He went away in sorrow with surely a lesson to be learnt. Wow, Tofu! That surely was a beautiful story. So what do you think is the moral of the story? Being greedy is not good because a bird in hand is worth three in the bush. We have come too far from our camp. When will we go back? I am feeling hungry. It will take some time, Tofu. Those berries look yum. I think I can treat on them for the time being. Tofu, stop! Do you even know what those berries are about? They look yum to me. That is all I know. But they can be poisonous. You are in the middle of a jungle. Poisonous? Come, let me tell you a story on our way back to the camp. On a long sunny day, there was a fox walking in a desert. Hungry and thirsty, all that he could see was miles of sand and barren rocks. Oh, it is so hot. I need water badly. He kept on walking and suddenly he saw a well. Thank God. I finally found a well. Now I will no longer be thirsty. He ran and ran in great excitement. The moment he leaped on the well's wall to check water, he lost his balance and fell in the well. Help! Help! Somebody, please help me! This well is really deep. How would I ever get out of this place? Nearby, a goat was passing the well. When she heard the fox, she went to peep over the well. Hey fox! What are you doing inside this well? Oh goat, isn't it too hot outside? I just came into this well to cool myself off. Why don't you also hop in and enjoy this cool and refreshing water? Not even thinking for a second, the goat jumped into the well. Hey fox! You were right! This water is actually very refreshing. I could spend all my day out here. After some time, the goat stops and asks the fox, Wait a second! How in the world will we manage to get 
out of this well? Oh, it's going to be simple. If you stand on your two feet and push me up, I can manage to reach to the top of the well and then pop out of the well. The goat, once again, without thinking twice, does as the fox said. Hey fox, what about me? How would I get out? Ha 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 ha. I guess you have to think about it on your own. But I helped you getting out of the well. Who asked you to? You should have thought about the consequences before taking any actions. So one should look before one leaps. Yeah, Tofu, always. Because you never know what danger you might get into. And those wild berries, they might have been harmful for you. Uh, yeah, dear. One should always check before taking a step further. Look, there is our camp and I can already smell the dinner is ready. Yay! Let's go! For your favourite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.